Yo, so this is my setup that appears to be working. What I'm going to do is go ahead and test so you can see what it looks like. Um, you can see I'm going to switch teams in between these tests so you can see how it updates by the team. So let's go. All right, players are starting off on a global team. When a player goes into a room, you can see how many players are on that team. All right, now we have team one and team two. The leaderboard will be displayed there. I have it tracking non-player eliminations as well as player eliminations. All right, so you do see that it updates. If team two makes an elimination, then they will update. Now let's switch. So I'm gonna switch my team. And again, this is just for tutorial purposes. Now I am team two. All right, so it updates here for team two. And it updates there for team one. So let me go ahead and show you the settings. I will be scrolling through them. I won't be calling them out individually because this is kind of like an unofficial tutorial. So hopefully that's cool. If you still need the settings for the class switches, let me know and if I have time, I'll do my best. So once I do get the time, I will do like an official tutorial on how these are set up. Um, for now, let's just take a look here at the tracker and the player reference devices. So I have a tracker for team one and I have a tracker for team two. And they are similar except they're linked to the their corresponding player reference device. So let's take a look here. And again, I'll just go through the settings slowly so you can see what I have. All right, let's move to functions. And events. For Team 1's player reference device, these are my settings. And functions. and events. Now let's move to team two. All right, so let's go ahead and look through the settings.
All right, this should say team two. I duplicated it, so there we go. And now the functions. And events. All right, and lastly, the player reference device for team two. Functions. And events. And that's how I did the setup. It seems to be working just fine, tracking each team individually. And that's how I did it. All right, that's gonna do it here for this quick unofficial tutorial. If it helps, let me know. It would be great to hear. And if you have any more questions, just be sure to reach out to me on the Discord and make a post. And I'll do my best to assist when I'm available. All right, bye.